think Coco's got more outfits than we do. I know that it may seem silly, but it does get really cold here, and when you've got a little tiny dog, she's not like Mac. Mac can stay out all winter long, he doesn't have an issue, he only really wants to come in if it's minus 40 for a period of time, and even then it's a challenge to get him to want to come in. But this little one, she does get cold, so another thing that we carry a lot is socks and shoes. And uh, we've got a couple of different styles of socks. These tend to work better than these ones because they're, they're longer, they stay up on their legs better. If they go past the dew claw, they seem to stay a lot better than they do if they don't. We've got a couple of sets of booties. These things are semi-waterproof and these are really, really good. Not only for keeping our feet from icing up, getting frostbitten, but uh, when we were up in Prince George recently to get our biometrics done, all the streets had been salted, so it was a, we were able to keep our feet out of the salt, which is a big deal too. Um, it wouldn't take long walking around in salt and stuff like that for her feet to get sore. And the Primo boots that we got are the Mutlux. Uh, these things are great. Uh, they take a little bit longer to put on than the other boots because there's, there's just a little bit more involved, but actually they stay on way better and they're probably a way more durable product. Um, the one issue we do have... Hey sweetheart, you rolling over? The one issue we do have is uh, the depth of the snow, so it's not too bad in areas that we've cleared, and we do clear a lot of snow here, but uh, when she's out in the bush, there's less option. She, uh, she doesn't mind traipsing through the snow too much, but that's why we carry so many different clothes and stuff, and we can put dry layers on. You get that fly? You get that thing? Did you? And as much as she seems like a little princess, she really is an outdoors dog. It's hard to keep her inside. The only thing that will keep her inside is cold weather, like I said. This time of year, we don't need any coats. We don't need anything. She's happy to go. Yeah, in the interest of leaving, that means we've got to whittle down some of her stuff too. We don't need to take it all with us. It doesn't get very cold in England, right? We've had Coco for around 18 months now. Uh, previous owner's situation changed and she came to us and she's been here ever since. And now she's become a real part of the family. So it goes without saying, this little dog goes literally everywhere with us, and I mean 24 hours a day. She has become the little godforsaken dog, and she's probably the best travel companion ever. She loves to ride in all the vehicles. Come on, baby, have up! Good girl, eh? It's backhoe, excavator, truck, quad, anything you can name, she loves to ride in them. dog was a pain in her butts when she first came here. She wasn't particularly well behaved at all. After spending lots and lots of time, she's with me 24 hours a day. She's actually really well behaved now. She's become a real part of the family. Like I said, she's a, she's a lovable little dog, aren't you? But expect to see this little dog in many more videos to come. She's going to be with us for a while, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you did. You all wet? You all wet? Are you all wet? You all wet, are you? <laughs> and if you're still watching at this point, we're just going to leave you off with a nice montage of her running around in the snow. Thanks for coming with us once again. Huge love. We'll catch you all in the next one.
Cheers.